So how are you guys? Thank you so much for giving me a couple of minutes to talk about this wonderful film and congratulations on such extraordinary performances. You, mm. you guys deserve all the recognition in the world. So um, let me start with you, Ariana. I have to say that Anita is one of the first female characters to, to break the stereotype of the, of the weak woman. She's fierce, she's strong, she does not let anyone control her. Very un un unusual for the time. So I was wondering how was working that, that aspect of the character. By the way, I loved you on the prom. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I wholeheartedly agree with everything you just said about this character. I think it's especially given the fact that our film takes place in 1957. Um, it's really important to see women with agency who do know their own mind and, and who are not afraid to not only fight for themselves and their ambitions and their dreams before their families. Um, and, you know, I think that's what I, one of the things I love about Anita is her dynamic with Bernardo. You know, yeah. she's really not afraid to go <laughs> at her man and, yeah. and really get into the nitty gritty. Yeah. That's what makes their relationship last. Yeah. And, um, but I, I, to be perfectly frank, it was not really a stretch, okay. that part of this character, because I was raised to be that way, um, to respectfully speak my mind, but also to get your point across. Um, and it was really some of the other parts of her, right, you know, while I feel like she, you, we can be stubborn, you know, the quality of stubborn women is really, it's a funny thing to play, but... Uh, I was really interested in her strength and vulnerability through strength and that that is a gift and it's not something that makes her weak, right? Um, I really wanted to try and embellish on that with this version of this character and by virtue, virtue of her being Afro-Latina, like that informed her lived experience as well because I do feel like... Um, uh, I, I know growing up, I felt very like quiet about my identity. And so to be able to pay, play a character that is so just full of abandon and, and also strong and, and proud, you know, like that, that's been such a, a joy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. You did, you did awesome. It was an uh, incredible performance. So David, um, uh, how, how did you face the possible doubts of interpreting such an iconic character as Bernardo? And what kind of advice did either Steven or, or Rita give you that helped you face those fears to deliver such a great performance? Um, well, I just, it was interesting because I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the role of Bernardo. Um, Cause I remember seeing the movie, the old movie, um, and I remember seeing George Shakiris yeah. and he's so amazing. He's a perfect yeah. Bernardo. Mm -hmm. So I was intimidated. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do because he was perfect. Um, so I, I felt like I just needed to trust my instinct and do something completely different. Um, and I feel like the best advice I got um, from Stephen was, was to just trust myself, to trust myself, be confident in what I can bring yeah. to the table um, because if you start doubting yourself and you start thinking, oh, I don't know if I can do this, that's really what's going to stop you from being able to do what you want to do. Um, it's it really it all comes down to confidence mm -hmm. um, and, and trusting in your ability. So I, I was very excited when I was part of a production that let me kind of express myself and figure out what I wanted to do instead of telling me what I should be doing. So it, it was a beautiful so experience. We love to see it. Empowering yeah. your talent yeah. to literally embrace the fullness of who they are and allow that to inform these yeah. characters. It was a very empowering experience. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you for that. So uh, Ariana, I remember watching a recent documentary on Rita Moreno by a Puerto Rican filmmaker where she talks about one of the most intense scenes on the film, uh, the one where the Jets attack Anita in Valentina's store. And, and she mentioned that there were a lot of takes and, the, and, and at the end she couldn't stop crying. Uh, by the way, if I remember correctly, I think this is the only scene where you two interact in this version. So working with one of our national treasures, what special story or anecdote can you share about that specific kind of surreal moment with the two Anitas? Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head. That's a great word, surreal. Um, you know, what I remember of that day, it was, it was highly charged. Um, everyone was a little nervous, except for me. I was really calm, <laughs> I think. Um, you know, Rita has since said that it felt 
you know, very meta. It was very hard for her to fully like be in the scene because she, um, she said she felt a little odd. She still felt a little like Anita, um, mm-hmm. which I absolutely make space for and, and can't imagine what that must have felt like to be in her body. But for me, I just played the truth. And mm-hmm. it was such a fascinating thing to look around and realize that this moment is actually very important to be able to talk about all of our differences. You know, it's, mm-hmm. it's, you know, it's a moment born out of great grief. Mm-hmm. You know, these boys are making a yeah. choice to do something, but it does not excuse the behavior. And yeah. then, you know, to have to confront someone who has defended these people who have hurt you so badly, but they are inherently a part of your culture. That is something that people deal with in many different ways every day. And, and I think being able to give that voice in such an honest and raw way, it's a really important moment. And, uh, and I'm glad that we all, because we did, everyone on that set made, made space for it to happen safely and authentically. And I will tell you, I still feel the weight of it to this moment. Seriously, it's, uh, it sits right here on my chest. <laughs> That's yeah, a hard thing to, to deal with. That's a hard thing to like come back from. So. Yeah, I don't know that you do come back from it. Yeah, you, exactly. I think it stays with you. Um, yeah, I said in a talk back recently, I was like, I still feel the 12 bodies on top of me. Yeah. It's, I don't wish it on anyone. Yeah. Anyways. Well, well, guys, thank you very much. My time is up again. Thank you again for such wonderful performances. I love your chemistry and scene. So, so, so congratulations <laughs> with, with, with everything you, you've done. You've done so uh, in Puerto Rico. I hope you come to Puerto Rico. There's some uh, pasteles and coquito waiting for you. Así que muchas felicidades. Feliz Navidad y que estén bien en salud. So thank you very much, guys. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias.